Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel and for a couple of weeks now I've been talking about that uh, I'll be getting a kayak as you guys can see from my smile I finally did it I got the uh, new Asin FX uh, 128 uh, this is the 2017 model I've been doing uh, research I would say for about almost a month uh, checking out YouTube videos and a couple of the bass forums that I'm part of and uh, they have done a couple of updates from the 2016 model not many but uh, a few I talked to a couple of guys uh, from the fish forums I was debating between the 2000 uh, 16 and 2015 model they told me not to get the 2015 because uh, the storage compartment fills up with water what they have done on the 2016 and 17 models they have raised it about I would say about an inch so water doesn't uh, get into the compartment uh, pretty much everything is the same with the uh, 2016 and 2017 models except the 2017 it comes with uh, electrical outlets which they have one in the front one in the middle and one in the back uh, these are already pre-wired uh, this is why the price is uh, $850 but uh, the cool thing the reason I got this one over the 2016 was like it was I said it was pre-wired and also my battery I recently made a video about how to hook up how did I hook up my battery the connector actually just it's a straight fit to the kayaks so I can choose this Let's see you focus in I can turn it on and I can choose the front one which is this it activates I can choose both of them this will be extra good uh, uh, when I put the LED lights and lights on on uh, on the kayak so I don't have to drill holes uh, I looked up a couple of videos and uh, uh, they were making uh, they were drilling holes into the they were drilling holes into the kayak on the side and they were doing rivets I asked a couple of pros or I'll say that they they've been fishing with the kayaks uh, for a long time uh, what they told me was if I drill holes just put the uh, a boat and a marine goo or whatever marine glue or goo whatever something silicone uh, by any means do not put rivets but when you put rivets after a while um, the hole will expand and the rivets will come out and it will damage your kayak also what cool about uh, the 2017 is besides the pre-wired uh, electrical which is big plus for me and the seed the seed has uh, three height settings low medium and high uh, I have ordered a uh, couple uh, a few things about a few things for the kayak uh, one of them it's uh, I got uh, cushions so right now the seed is pretty loose uh, even though when I put the bungees on, still pretty loose. Uh, they have a, what you can get is a chair stoppers, and just uh, put them on, and it just snugs them in. As you guys can see, there's a little bit of gap. It will eliminate that gap, and the seat will be more stable. And also, uh, the seat is uh, adjustable. You can go forward and backwards. I have a lever over here. You can see you can well actually you can uh, 
not go forward or backwards, but uh, you can turn the chair when you push it. See that the chair turns. So this will be extra cool when you're fishing. You can just turn to the side, the direction that you're casting. And uh, I looked up, uh, I talked to a couple of people that have the 2016 model. They told me this is the most stable kayak, one of the most stable kayaks that uh, you can get w without crossing uh, $1,500. And like I said, I pay, uh, I pay 850 plus tax on it, so it was a pretty good deal for me. Uh, I'm like I, I'm gonna do a couple of mods on it, nothing major, but uh, one of them. Let me get the seat back. Uh, one of them is uh, one of my YouTube subscribers told me he did on his uh, 2016 model was let me get this chair out. Uh, what he told me what he did was he removed uh, he removed the back storage and he flipped it around so instead of opening this way it will open this way so it's a lot easier when I'm sitting just to turn around open it and just have a couple of my uh, tackle boxes over here easy access and this one comes in with uh, three storages I believe the 2015 model had a storage in front somewhere over here but it is way too far and a lot of people told me that uh, they're not using it so it's practically useless and you can't get to it when you're in, in the kayak and there's one in the back it's not a big storage but uh, it'll do uh, but I'm gonna be using uh, the back storage will be probably for uh, to keep uh, some of my some of the lights or stuff like that in and like I said, uh, I'm pretty happy with it. It's a little bit long. It's uh, 12 feet 8 inches. But uh, it's almost the length of my car. But I really wanted this one just because of the fact that uh, it had good reviews. And uh, in the 2016 and 2017 model, they have this compartment or this thing. Uh, it's basically you can put your uh, rods rod tips in there so they won't break or they won't get damaged it's a pretty nice neat thing and I'll make another video once the stuff that uh, I order from uh, the stuff that I order from uh, Amazon get here uh, the only thing I didn't buy from Amazon uh, was the pedals I got this from uh, this one from Bass Pro. Uh, they also had a little bit uh, cheaper ones. I believe these are uh, seventy nine or seventy five, but these were a little bit lighter than the orange ones, the standard. And also, I have this the, where you can, uh, if you're fishing on the river, which is shallow. You can, uh, if you get stuck somewhere, your lure, you can retrieve it. It's a pretty nice, uh, neat thing. So, and I know a lot of the uh, pedals are expensive. And I'll, I got the mount for my uh, transducer. Um, I'm not gonna drill, I'm, I, I'm not gonna put the transducer in my kayak uh, because simply. Uh, I was told you will not read the water temperature and the main reason I got the fish finder was one of the reasons was just to see the water temperature what the temperature is so I got a kit from uh, I believe it was uh, 
Scotty mount. Uh, I'll mount it uh, on the left side of the kayak on this. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna minimize drilling holes into the kayak, so it'll always be nice and clean. Uh, the only holes I'm gonna have to drill is uh, just to put the anchor. But I'm not uh, sure. I'm not quite uh, sure which way I'm gonna go with the anchor, cause uh, I looked up on Amazon. There is one. Uh, I believe it was like thirty dollars where you can mount it straight to the front, and uh, that way you don't have to uh, have a bunch of holes going from the front to the back, and you can switch it and. Uh, rarely anybody will anchor in the middle of the kayak simply because if you're fishing on the river if you anchor put the anchor in the middle you have the water current constantly pushing on it and it, it will drag you so that's the reason I'm gonna go in the front and maybe I'll get two of them I'll have one in the front and uh, one in the back of the kayak but uh, I got I got a whole month to figure out how exactly I'm gonna go with uh, which uh, which setup I'm gonna go with, but I'll keep on keep you guys updated. Once I get uh, uh, some of the stuff, well, I'll actually I'll get most of them by end of this week. So uh, I'll show you what I've what I've done. I'm gonna right now, well not today but uh, tomorrow or the other or the next day, I'm gonna start wiring my. Uh, uh, my fish finder and I'm pretty sure I'm I'm thinking to put it uh, on the middle or on this side so I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do it uh, I'm gonna have to uh, brainstorm this give it some thought because what I want to do is I want to put a rod holder right there so when I catch a fish, I can put the rod that I'm using on the rod holder so I can uh, unhook the fish and release it uh, pretty quickly without uh, putting the rod on the yak or something and then the tip gets damaged or drop the rod in the water in the river and there will be some, uh, some chasing. So if you guys have any tips, uh, Leave a comment below and crush that like button, share it. I'll see you guys in a couple of days when I get my stuff.